Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link tree down below. It has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as the links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Now with that said and done and put to the side, I'm gonna to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets kind of flirting with the idea of signing Larry Ogunjobi and Kwan Alexander. Okay, listen, this is out there. These guys have come by and they have visited the facilities, you know, and the New York Jets are kind of throwing around the idea of signing them. You know, Sulla has talked about it. You know, Joe Douglas has talked about it. The media is kind of going back and forth about it but it hasn't happened as of yet, all right? So first I wanna start with Larry Ogunjobi, okay? Now, listen, in free agency, there was a lot of discussions about this guy amongst the New York Jets fan base. I had multiple discussions with people about this guy and everybody was excited. At the time, people were like, hey, if we can land this guy, it'll be phenomenal. People wanted to you know, bring him in, especially with our defensive line kind of looking the way that it looked pre you know, free agency and pre-draft as well. We were saying, hey, we need somebody that's gonna be able to come in, give us some pressure, help a bit in the run game, you know, kind of beef up this line, beef up what we do here. Now, that was kind of all put to rest because initially he signed a deal with the Bears for quite a bit of money. Three years, 40 million, and I think 26 point something million of that was guaranteed, okay? And we were like, wow, he seemed to be off the market, said and done, it was a done deal. Well, as things continued to play out with that, failed the physical with the Bears, and then the deal just kind of fell apart. Once he felt that physical, he was just kind of back out on the street. And, you know, he's just kind of bounced around. A lot of people have talked about him, but nothing, you know, kind of came to fruition. Now, again, recently he's he's visited the Jets facility and it's looked like the New York Jets are interested in striking up a deal with this guy. Now, Larry Ogunjobi is a really good defensive lineman. Very good. Again, he spent time with the Browns. That was the team that originally drafted him. Played pretty well there. Ended up going to the Bengals in 2021 and had a very good season. He actually had seven sacks that season. Seven sacks, man. This is a guy that can put some pressure on the QB, right? They go on, continuing their playoff run. He actually gets injured against the Raiders. He has a foot injury. It kind of ended his, you know, his run there as well because the foot injury required surgery. So that was kind of done and the Bengals continued to make their run, but he wasn't able to play. So when you look at the situation, the failed physical by the Bears, he's still out there. This is a guy that can absolutely help the New York Jets if the New York Jets decide to sign him, okay? Because let me tell you something, our defensive line rotation will become so nasty with him in it, all right? Look, we already got Solomon Thomas here, who's a guy that understands Sulla's scheme, guy that's worked with Sulla before. Vinnie Curry here, blood disorders, you know, put in the past with him. This is a guy that's going to come in and help us. We just drafted Jermaine Johnson. you got a guy like Sheldon Rankins as well. We're excited for him to come back. Quinnen Williams, who we're looking to see take the next step. you got Carl Lawson, who's going to be coming back. He's saying he's going to be ready for camp, so he should be back healthy, and we'll see what we get out of him. you got a guy like, man, Michael Clemens, who people are extremely excited about, a young guy that really seems like he's ready and raring to go. John Franklin Myers, Nathan Shepard, you add Larry Ogunjobi to that. And boy, oh boy, does this just become a place that's filled with monsters. Okay, you watch us last year, we had issues stopping the run. Our defensive line at times was kind of getting pushed around. But it seems like we've really been able to beef up this line. And if we can sign Ogunjobi and add him there, things really are going to turn around for us defensively. So I want to see us get a deal done with Larry. I want to see this guy in green. Okay, I really, really do. Joe Douglas, get the job done. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think about Larry Ogunjobi. I want to hear from y'all. The next guy I want to talk about, Kwan Alexander. Kwan Alexander is a guy that... We constantly talk about, okay? Here's a guy that came to the Jets facility, I think it was like April, okay? He came on in, we were all hyped. We thought, hey, here's a guy that we're gonna need. Here's a guy that can help us, okay? Our linebacking core, and we'll get to that in a second, but our linebacking core kinda, you know, a little shaky here. Maybe Kwan comes in the building. 
We get him signed, boom, we're going to move on. Nothing, right? He comes in, visits, and then kind of goes on. Well, here he comes back again recently, back to the facility. And then, you know, now we're hoping that they'll be able to close the deal and finally get it done. Again, this is being thrown out all over the place with the media. Now, listen, K1 Alexander has a complete familiarity with Robert Sella. 2019, 2020, listen, he was there at the Niners, you know, with the Niners, with Sella as a defensive coordinator. So he completely understands the scheme and what he's expected to do there. Okay, completely get it. You look at the New York Jets linebacking core, it's pretty thin. The linebacking core is actually one of the bigger question marks going into this upcoming season. And it's a question mark because when you look at some of the guys there, right, there's some standouts, but then after it, it's big question marks. Like C.J. Mosley, here's a guy that we all love, a guy that played extremely well for us last year. We're excited about him going forward. He's becoming, he's getting older and older and older. He's making a lot of money this year, a lot. Next year, it goes up to, I think, like $18.5 million. He's an inside linebacker, an old guy. He's not going to be our future, okay? But he's playing very well for us. But he's not going to be here for long, especially not at $18.5 million. Whoa. Then you look at Quincy Williams, who we're all hyped about. We're hoping that he can have, you know, that even kill year this upcoming year, right? But he made some plays for us. He's coming up on a contract year. We'll see what we get with him going forward. But after CJ and Quincy... It's like there's big question marks after that. You got Nezul Dean and you got Sherwood, but those guys have to come out and first show us that they can play a full season healthy, and then second, show us something. Show us that they can actually do something, that they can produce within this system, right? So you, you're hoping that these guys can come back and be ready to go again. You got a Achilles, then you got an ACL. You know, you got to figure out what's going on with those guys going forward. But those guys are question marks. So if you can bring in Kwan Alexander, an experienced veteran guy that understands the system, knows where he's supposed to be, knows what he's supposed to do, that can still produce in this NFL, that's going to absolutely help us in our linebacking core and not have us looking so suspect at times. Because let me tell you something, as you guys watched this last season as well, we were getting cooked. We were getting cooked by tight ends. We were getting cooked by screens. And our linebacking core struggled last year outside of CJ and Quincy Williams. It was, it was not so good. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about the idea of the New York Jets possibly bringing in Kwan Alexander? What are your thoughts about Larry Ogunjobi? Let me know down below. I want to hear from you folks. I want to hear what you got to say about these guys. Because I'm telling you, if we can sign these two guys... Our defense, I think, really takes a step forward, especially if we can get K1, our, our defensive, uh, our defense, our linebacker core really would take a step up and step forward as well. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.